Google Drive. And so you're going to go find the Create button. So you'll notice it over here on the left-hand side. It says Create. And I click on it, and the fourth option is Form. So I'm going to choose Form under the Create button. You're going to want to rename your form. In this case, I'm just going to make a response to reading. So I'm going to ask the students to read a passage. And then in response, they're going to answer these questions about the reading. So please read the passage on Little Red Riding Hood and answer these questions. Then you'll notice the first question is here for me, but it says sample question one. I don't really want my first question to be sample question one. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight sample question one and I'm going to title it. What is your name? Of course, I want to ask the student's name. However, they tend to just put in Bob instead of their full name. So I'm going to want to use help text. So I want it in the format of last comma first. So this is not the question, but it's just information that can help guide them to know how to answer the question. I can then choose down here at the bottom to make this a required question. And then I can hit done. Sample question two, that's not really a real question. I don't want to ask the students sample question two. So as I hover over the questions, you'll notice that it highlights. And you can kind of come all the way over to the right, and you'll notice that there are three button options. So the first button is a pencil to edit, and the second bu bu button is a duplicate, and the third button is to delete the question. I'm actually going to go ahead and just edit the question, so I'm going to click on the pencil. And I'm going to rename it from sample question number two to what color was Red Riding Hood's hood. And then I can decide what kind of question I want it to be. Now text is just a small box that they can enter into. It doesn't limit the number of characters to the size of the box, but it just should show that it should be a short answer. If I want it to be a long answer, I would probably choose paragraph text. Now, all of these question types will be into a spreadsheet once the student answers. So it doesn't really matter which type you choose, it's just so the formatting and ease of the student answering the question on their end. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that as text because it's just a one word answer. So I'm going to hit done. Then I want to make another question, so I actually need to come up to the top. And at the very top left it says add a question, or add an item rather. And so then I have the different question types. And so I am going to choose paragraph text. I'm going to describe the condition of Red's hood. You know, for whatever you want to ask them, please use complete sentences. Fully use, descri use descriptive words. And if you had decided, well, paragraph text is good, but I actually want to do multiple choice, you can actually still change the question type. I'm going to leave that as paragraph type and hit done. And again, you want to decide if you want to make the question required or not. Usually, I just want to make everything required so that they can't skip anything. So check boxes and multiple choice are very similar. Multiple choice, they can only choose one answer, but check boxes, they can choose multiple answers. So if I choose check boxes, what animals are in Little Red Riding Hood? And I could have a wolf, and I can have pigs, and squirrels, and people, if you want to consider people animals. Huh? Um, birds, worms, you, know, you can add as many as you want. And I can also add an other, so if they want to put in their own answer that's not chosen, I can choose that. So with this particular check boxes question type, it's going to put in, if they check three boxes, all three of those answers are going to be put into a single cell of the spreadsheet separated by a comma. So do be aware of that. If you don't want them all in the same cell, you'll want to choose the multiple choice option. I'm going to go ahead and hit done. And if you want to add any other questions, it's under add item at the top. And again, you can put in a text. You can choose a paragraph text, which is a bigger box for them to put in text a multiple choice question, check boxes, which is multiple choice, but multiple options, drop down list on a scale of one to 10, how would you grade this or rate it? And then grid is more like a rubric. 
So you choose your question type and format it. You don't actually need to usually hit save, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit the save button. It does auto save.